Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and today I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the new version of Microsoft Excel 2013 or 365, as Microsoft uh, likes to call it as well. All right, um, you can download this by the way and have a trial uh, period of one month completely free. You're going to have to leave some credit details or a PayPal account. Uh, but then won't charge you until after the first month. So go and check it out if you like. All right. First, we see that it's all a bit cleaner and more. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I, it has a more modern look. Um, you can see that the font types have changed, but the basic structure we have a home, we have a file menu here, and. So you have the, the whole ribbons there. It basically looks the same, but it's a bit more automated. We'll just go to the um, tutorial together that Microsoft has pr provided. Here you see three new tricks, three and a half minutes to learn. Hours saved every day. Don't know about that, but let's go. As you can see, there's a list here with email addresses. It says here, fill out the table in the left, in the cell C5. Well, that's there. Type Nancy. In cell C6, repeat Andrew. Ah, this is magic. And I believe, but I'm not sure, I'm, I have to learn some, some more about this. This is completely without any special uh, formulas, uh, any special formatting. So this is a really neat trick. And yeah, it can save a lot of time. But I can see this feature messing up as well. But when it, when it works, it's very handy. Let's see what, what else they've got for us. Analyze data with quick analysis. Select the entire table on the left, all right? Hold it the left mouse button we drag it down there we are look at the bottom right of the section it says the quick analysis button yeah this is a new one ah this is nice and you can see you can color it automatically data bars oh yeah in every cell there's a sort of mini mini chart now that displays the um, how big the number is that's interesting and icons oh this is like stock trading and greater than that doesn't seem to work with this one text contains oh it's looking for tech now this is basically conditional formatting and clear format that's also handy because i end up using that quite a lot and there's a charts th uh, thing here as well ah oh, it automatically creates charge that's pretty neat that's pretty neat. totals well oh yeah there's an there's a uh, underneath here oh in this row appears uh, an automatic function. Handy, handy. Oh, there's a some column appearing now. Do you see it? There. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice, handy, useful. Okay, next one, chart. Oh, yeah, uh, you see that that's how they created this one. They just created a few charts and this, uh, sorry, worksheets and the shortcuts. This is a shortcut to the next one. I'll show you that sometime. Select the table again. There we are. And go to insert recommended charge. Ah, this is nice. This is nice. When it works anyway, this, I suspect this could be mess up. Oh, there we have a chart. Use the, let's just put this over here. So, and then go on as a table. Go to the buttons on the top right to change the look and feel. Oh, this is handy. As these were, you see now the access title appears. You still have to edit them, but this stuff was a bit hidden. The data labels. Yeah, nice. And we can edit. Ah, this is nice. All this stuff was a bit hidden in the previous version. All right, that's it. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. If you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by the, clicking the button below, uh, above. And you can also click and have a look at my website, Work Smarter.